to um I'm inspired so I wanted to come tonight taking this inspiration that I feel slash felt and kind of start talking about um purpose and um I've been referring to this for so long now this book it's The Principles and Power of Vision by Dr. Miles Monroe. And the reason I'm going to talk about it tonight is because I'm just super inspired. I just came from a women's empowerment um, banquet. And it was put on by my Sunday school teacher. I'm taking a women's Sunday school class, which we only have three weeks left. And it's heartbreaking because it's been so so good. And I'm trying not to cry right now. Because when God calls you to something, it's not of you. It's not of yourself. It's not He uses you as the vessel. But we offer Him, we offer God so many excuses as to why we can't do what He called us to do. And especially when he calls us to a task that is bigger than ourselves, if we can't see how it can be done or how it can be provided for, or financed for, or who can help us with it, or what resources can be used, or we look at all the inadequacies within ourselves and we don't trust him to perform his word, um, we brush those dreams aside and. and not to cry. I can tell you, I almost lost my life in 2006 in a car accident. I was involved in a terrible car accident where for a moment I really believe I was out of here. I was, I was in my car but I think I was out of myself because for a moment time was as if it froze and I was told that it was not my time. I was told I was going to be okay and that it was not my time and as soon as I heard these words it was not my time time started again and, and I could feel myself in the car spinning and the car came to a stop and I saw smoke and I could smell smoke and I saw dust and so forth and a couple people ran up to my car to ask if I was okay and my life has never been the same from that point forward but it's like it made me realize that God could have taken me that day but he didn't take me because there was work for me to do. And it was work that he saw in me before the foundation of the world. Um, as I said in one of my previous videos, um, one thing I got from this book is that when God, the creator of the universe, thought of you and I, he had a certain uh, a specific task in mind. And he said, I want this thing performed in the earth. I want this thing done. So I'm going to create this person to come along at such and such a time to fulfill the vision that I, can, I see. And, and so he makes you and he, he makes me. And he puts this purpose within us. And we go through life. We're born into the families that we're born into. We're raised in the whatever circumstances we're raised in, we're surrounded by whatever people we're surrounded by, we're educated, we're not educated, we're, we've been battered, bruised, whatever the case may be, all of it has a part to play in the thing that God has for us to do. It's all used to shape us, it's used to provide experiences for us that we're going to draw upon later when we're doing the thing that God called us to do. So, um, but by going back to the car accident I was sharing with you, sharing about with you, um, I realized that God could have taken me that day, but he didn't. And, um, he didn't take me because there was still unfinished purpose in me. And, uh, so, um, now let me back up to the year 2000, um, I began to get these ideas, these beautiful, bright ideas of um, a business that I 
could open up. But they were so far-fetched to me um, that I just thought, oh, that's a nice notion, but it could never happen because number one, I'm, I'm super shy. Number two, um, I don't have a business background. Number three, where am I gonna get the money to do this kind of thing? Number four, I'm just a kid. I mean, granted I was in my 20s, but I felt like um, a big kid. I didn't feel mature enough to handle such a large task. And so I tucked it away. And it laid away for at least maybe two or three more years until the ideas came back up again. And it was, I've never been pregnant, but I can imagine I hear mothers talk about how when they carry their child that, you know, every now and then you feel the baby kick. So it was like I had the spiritual baby inside of me and it would kick every now and then. And when I would think that, you know, this thing was done and I'd put it away and I'd forget about it, I'd feel the kick. And so it was as if God was saying, I put something in you and you're ignoring it, but I want you to investigate this thing. So if my voice is cracking, it's because I'm trying to keep from crying. I just feel so touched right now by His Spirit. But, um, so, um, the ideas came, so I just, I would write everything that came to me, whether I believed it could happen or not, I wrote it down. And then I, um, decided to take a business class just to kind of familiarize myself with small business management. And that class turned out to be a gold mine. I ended up writing a business plan. And then um, kind of tucked the idea away again. And then two years later, um, I ended up going to visit uh, a local church. My dad was a pastor, so we have a lot of friends that are in the pastorate. So this was one of our pastor friend's church, and they ended up starting a Bible college, so I discovered it when I was there visiting, and I ended up going to take one class, and one class turned into two, two turned into three, and two years later, I graduated with my master's in Christian education, so all of this is having a part to play. I've got a business plan, now I've got my uh, training, so to speak, um, in the ministry, and then number three, I've got my at secular education, I have my bachelor's degree in science, so, and then I'm getting these ideas from God, and these beautiful, this beautiful vision of what could be, it's, it's, it's something bigger than me, and so, and that's why it laid away for so long, but then one day, after all of the Bible college, the small business class, the ideas, the idea came to me to write this thing out as if money were no object, as if you had all the help and resources that you needed, and that's what I began to do, and I've been doing that for about two years now, and I've come up with plans, I've come up with a vision for this thing, I've come up with even drawings in my mind's eye of, of, of how the layout of this place should be, and would you know that God brought me in contact with multi-millionaires? who are Christian business people, who are kingdom-minded, and they, when I shared my vision with them, immediately they caught on to it, and they want to help me in whatever way they can. They've already put me in people, contact with people who are doing what I want to do, and it's like, God, you saw this before I ever could, and that's what vision is, it's seeing in your mind's eye what doesn't yet exist, but what could be, and God sees that God is way ahead of you people, he's, he's way ahead of me, so if he's telling you to come on and walk this way, step out of the boat, it's for a reason, because he's telling you that he's not going to let you sink, he's going to carry you through to the fulfilling of your purpose, and this is just the tip of the iceberg with this purpose whole purpose vision thing and I'm sorry if I rambled tonight I'm sorry if my thoughts weren't as connected as maybe um, I would like for them to have been but I was just kind of speaking from my heart just what was coming to my heart and I'll, I'll probably come back and do some more taping um, maybe tonight I don't know but the song I was playing was Israel moving forward they were playing that at the banquet tonight and it just touched my heart so much just I'm just letting those words marinate, so I'm probably going to play it a thousand more times tonight before I go to bed, but um, I may come back and do some more videos after this tonight, but 
Thanks for listening, and stay tuned for next time.